Hi, I'm Jeff Glover. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Ricardo Frangia Miller. I've been competing for over 10 years in hundreds of gi and no gi competitions all around the world. I credit part of my success to keeping an open mind, a modest attitude, and mixing up my training with some of the best Jiu-Jitsu players around the globe. Travel with me as I visit some of the best schools in the nation, getting the lowdown on the latest Jiu-Jitsu techniques the scene has to offer. Welcome to Glover's Travels. I'm still rolling through Vegas. As you can see, I've come across my friend Chris Holdsworth here. He's gonna take us through Vegas, show us a good time. All right, Glover's Travels, here we are. Found our way to Cobra Kai, here with Chris Holdsworth. As you can see, I got my bag of goodies here from Nogi. Little Santa Claus action. Gonna be hooking some of the guys up some of this stuff. Let's go inside, check it out. Chris is gonna give us the tour. What's up, guys? So this is like our office here. Everybody comes in. Got a little bit of uh, memorabilia, plaques and stuff, shirts. We got Jen here holding it down. All right, guys, come this way. I'll show you a little bit more of the gym. I started training jujitsu with a guy named Patrick King and he was a purple belt under Hoist Gracie at the time. So it was a very uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu background, you know, self-defense orientated, not too much, you know, sport Jiu Jitsu. We got my blue belt from Hoist, and then I got my purple belt from the Gracie Academy, and then I moved out to Vegas. Rah. Try to lift it. Rah. See Coming it. for you guys in Spain. Rah. Get some of this. Rah. This place opened in about 2003. First place we actually trained at was Mark's Backyard. Really? And, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of mats down and we just started training there. Then it was just way too hot. There was a lot of people. And at that time, Mark was in charge. And maybe we had like 30 guys training and it was just, you know, three groups going in at once. And then Mark found this place um, late 2003. I think it officially opened in 2004. This gym has come a long way from from back in the day. Humble beginnings. Yeah. So, here we are. So this is it. it's like our main room. This is where we train hard. Oh man, I've had some memories in this place. So here we are in our uh, second room. We got the MMA cage. And this is where uh, the MMA training goes down. Our MMA classes, our kickboxing classes. Got the, the ring over here. Squeeze, it's gonna tap. Yes, yeah, going to the leg, Brandon. Right arm, right arm. There, hold that. Hold that position. Hold it. Squeeze. Hold it. Hold hands behind his head. There, squeeze it. Dude. Uh oh, back to the triangle. You're not out of trouble, man. You're not out of trouble just yet. It's the future right there, little Brandon. So we got a class right now about to start at six. And uh, Jeff, come join me, man. I'd love to. So our first thing we should do, guys, is pull his head down and try to break his posture. I'm gonna use my legs. I'm gonna try to reach up and grab the back of his head. I'm just gonna use my legs to try to pull him in and just hang on to his head, okay? Now a lot of times once we do this, this guy doesn't like this. So he's going to put both hands on the mat and he's going to try to push himself upwards to regain his posture. I pull him down, he starts to push up, come right up. This free hand, the elbow we're posting on, we're just going to use our feet to explode back to our back. Foot's going to go right between his calf and butt cheek. Scoot, scoot, throw the leg over the back. If we don't throw this leg over the back, there's a good chance he might be able to roll over his shoulder. 
Okay, so it's very important. Throw that leg over the back, and now we can finish a lot easier. Okay, use your whole body and keep that arm at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's give that a try. Pair up with someone around your same size. 